not what you see in sleep. Dream is something which doesn't allow you to sleep. Luxury and lies both have huge maintenance costs, but truth and simplicity are self-maintained without any cost. You all must be familiar with both these quotes. Yes, it is given by a missile man of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. On his birth anniversary, that is today, 15 October, is celebrated as Reading Inspiration Day in Maharashtra and worldwide as World Students Day. On this account, we have organized a small program for you all. Now, I would like to hand over to Master Vedan Desai to throw some light on the early life of Dr. Abdul Kalam. I would like to throw some light on the early life and education of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Abul Pakir Janalabdin Abdul Kalam was an Indian aerospace scientist and politician who served as the 11th President of India. He was born and raised in Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu and studied physics and aerospace engineering. He spent the next four decades as a scientist and science administrator at Defence Research and Development Organization and Indian Space Research Organization. He is known as the Missile Man of India for his work on the development of ballistic missile and launch vehicle technology. He played a major technical and political role in India's Pokhran II nuclear test. Dr. Abdul Kalam was born on 15th October 1931 to a Tamil Muslim family in the pilgrimage centre of Rameshwaram. His father Janal Abdin was a boat owner and imam of local mosque. His mother Ashiyamma was a housewife. Kalam was the youngest of four brothers and one sister in his family. Kalam used to sell newspapers to supplement his family's income in his childhood. In his school years, Kalam had average grade but was described as a bright and hard-working student who had a strong desire to learn. He spent hours on his studies, especially mathematics. After completing his education at the squad's higher secondary school, Ramnathapuram, Kalam went on to attend St. Joseph's College. Then he affiliated with University of Madras from where he graduated in physics in 1954. He narrowly missed achieving his dream of becoming a fighter pilot as he placed ninth in qualifiers and only 8th positions were available in the IAF. He was also awarded with Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian award. While delivering a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management, Shillong, Kalam collapsed and died from an apparent cardiac arrest on 27th July 2015. I would like to end by a small quote of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Difficulties are part of life. They are there to prepare you, increase you and develop you. We should not give up and we should not allow the problem to defeat us. Thank you, Vedan. On this auspicious day, a fancy dress was organized for our tiny tots. Let us all have a sight of it. APJ Abdul Kalam was born on October 15, 1931. In Rameshwaram, he was professor, author, aerospace scientist. Decision come from experience, but experience come from my decision. I am born with ideas and dreams. I am born with confidence. I so don't worry for any mistake. Put ahead and then perfect. Also, share with you. Hello friends, I am Pakhi Rajesh Rathod in for, from First B. Today we are celebrating birthday of great personality Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So here are his some famous quotes. 
If you want to shine like a sun, first burn like a sun. Don't believe in luck, believe in hard work. Winners are not those who never fail, but those who never quit. Every pain gives a lesson and every lesson change a person. If you can stay positive in negative situation, you win. By Dr. Repij Abdul Kalam. Thank you. Oh my god, these tiny nose was so cute. Now, let us all get a bit updated about the life of Dr. Abdul Kalam from the students of standard 1st and 2nd. Oh friends, you are born in your dreams. Don't crawl around to us. Then to fly and fly. The famous poet, Dr. Repi Abdul Kalam. Friends, today we are celebrating birthday of the great scientist Abdul Kalam Sir. One of the famous quote is All of us do not have an equal talent but all of us have an equal opportunity to develop our talent. Thank you. Salam was born on 15th October 1931 at Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu. India scientist and politician who played a leading role in Diwali. APJ Abdul Kalam was known as the Missile Man of India. Now, let us know about his life as a scientist from Master Akshat Aukshiti. Great scientist, people's president and a phenomenal teacher. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam has always been a driving force behind many cutting-edge technologies in India. From satellites to local healthcare, Dr. Kalam's contribution will always be worthy of mention when we talk about science and technology in India. Today, I am going to talk about Dr. Kalam's contribution in the field of science and technology which led our nation to the path of development. At a time when India had hardly dreamt of its own satellite launch vehicle, Dr. Kalam's efforts and hard work for a decade made it possible for us to develop our first indigenous satellite launch vehicle, SLV. SLV-3 injected Rohini in the near-Earth orbit on July 1980, which made us the Space Club member. After the success of SLV, Dr. Kalam was appointed as the director of two projects, Project Devil and Project Valiant. The goal of Project Devil was to develop a short-range surface-to-air missile. Although discontinued in 1980 without achieving full success, 
Project Devil was later led to the development of Prithvi missile. After working for ISRO for about two decades, Dr. Kalam was appointed as the CEO of Integrated Guided Missile Development Program IGMDP. He was responsible for the development and operationalization of Agni and Prithvi missiles. This also earned him the title Missile Man of India. Dr. Kalam was the scientific advisor of the Defence Minister of India between 1992 and 1999 when India went ahead with the nuclear explosions at Pokhran. He supervised the second nuclear test at Pokhran as the CEO of Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO. After camping in Thar Desert for about a fortnight, he said, the testing was a defining moment in the history of India. So, now let us see what the students of Standard 3rd and 4th want to say about Dr. Kalam. Being an aerospace scientist, he was an author and wrote good such as Wing of Fires, United Minds, Indomitable Spirit. He played a major part in developing many missiles under the mission, including Adni, Putvi, etc. He played a technical and political role in India's fourth one to Hitler's death in 1998. He was the first scientist to become president of India. Naturally, he emphasized the applications of science and technology in every field and infused the youth to dream big. He always loved children and inspired them to do hard work in their life. Lastly, our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi said that Kalam's vision for a nation was anchored in freedom and strength. Thank you. The national hero. Kalam wore silver books in slack chain and autobiograph Wings of Fire 
Eva is president. Let us know more about Dr. Kalam's presidency from Ms. Tayyip Manker. Dr. APJ Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's full name was Abul Fakir Jainal Abdul Abdul Kalam. He was born on 15th of October in a small town of Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu. He studied physics and aeroscope engineering and later became an Indian aeroscope scientist in ISRO and DRDO. He served as the 11th president of India from 2002 to 2007. Dr Kalam became the president of India on 25th of July 2002 Dr Kalam always believed that a post elected for the people of India and indirectly by the people of India should never be given any kind of special status hence even as the president of India he always led a non luxurious and a, and a non VIP life Mr Kalam is widely referred to as the people's president of india because he belonged to no political party and was elected by both the ruling and opposing party of the time the high integrity of apj abdul kalam displayed in public life made him a role model not just for those who admired him but also for his extended family kalam was deeply attached to his siblings but insulated them from the trapping of power during the 5 years he served as the president during his swearing in ceremony kalam flew 55 members of his family to rashtrapati bhavan but bore the travel expenses himself as a president he taught simplicity honesty and truthfulness to the entire india he was a param acharya in a true sense After leaving the office, Dr. Kalam served as a visiting professor at the Indian Institute of Management, Shillong, the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad, and the Indian Institute of Management, Indore. An honorary fellow at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. He taught information technology at the International Institute of Information Technology, Hyderabad, and technology at Banaras Hindu University and Anna University. From this, we come to know that how much Dr. Kala loved to be a teacher and teach children. Also, during his last moments, he was surrounded by children. Let us know about his last moments with children from Miss Agni J. Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam's dream was to become a teacher, and he used to love children a lot. So now we are going to witness two videos in which we are going to see Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam interacting with school children. Questions, questions, five questions, five. Who is going to ask five questions? Five fellows come. Yes, get up, come, 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 come. What is the question? Start, start it. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Which class you are studying? I am studying in tenth standard. My name is Gayatri Mohan. Tenth standard. Yes, sir. Next year, what subject you will take? I wish to take uh, bio max. Why bio? I am interested in biology and biology. Or you want to become a doctor? My ambition is to become. Uh, I want to study more on aerospace engineering. Good. You are become a life scientist, right? Yes. Very good girl. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. My question to you is: A journey from Rameshwaram to Rashtrapati Bhavan is indeed a great achievement, which no one can think of. You are giving a lecture now. What the question? <laughs> Sir, I would like to hear from you a few tips for the upcoming generation to succeed in life. Well, succeed in life, I have already told you. Yes. You all have to do four things, okay? Number one, repeat with me. Number one, you repeat. Number one, great aim. Great aim. I will have great aim. I will have great aim. I will. I will. Continuously acquire knowledge. Continuously acquire knowledge. Continuously acquire knowledge. Oh, I will do hard work. I will do hard work. I will persevere. I will persevere. And succeed. And succeed. Okay, that's the mantra. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. You can go. You can go. You can go. Yes. That's all. Nobody else. Nobody else. Stop. Okay. 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 Sir, go ahead. Sir, I am Jobin. I study in seventh 
Standard from Congolia UBS Perul Club. My question, at present, what are the major strengths and weakness of our team? Your future? mic, can you keep the mic like this? Like this, uh, keep distance, uh, slowly speak, uh, speak now, you are a good fellow. Uh, yes. Sir, I am poor English. Study in Malayalam medium. Malayalam medium. Malayalam medium. At present, what are the major strengths and weakness of our India? What are the? Major strengths. Major strength. What are the, what are the major strengths of India? And weakness of our India. And? Weakness, fantastic boy. What class you are studying? Seventh standard. Seventh standard. Okay. Now, strength of India. What the major strength of India? You guys. That is 600 million youth. Major strength of India? 600 million youth. Okay? Okay. So the youth, uh, repeat with me. Ignited mind. All of you, United Mind. United Mind. Also youth. Is the most powerful resource. See the what? On the earth. On the earth. Above the earth. Above the earth. Under the earth. Under the earth. You said, what is the weakness of India? Weakness of India. What is the weakness of India? Weakness of India. Without vision, a nation dies without vision. Must have a vision, okay? Great vision. Thank okay? you, sir. Great. Vision. You can go. You can go. Again, addition. I will answer only five more guys, okay? Good evening, sir. Yeah. I am Prishmi to KP, representing Sri Vivekananda Memorial Public School. Uh, let me put forth my question. You, uh -huh. you are mic. You are putting in your mouth. Will distance. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Among all your valuable accomplishments, yeah. which would you consider as outstanding as a space scientist and as a president of India? Well, I personally believe I always value as a teacher. I am a teacher. When my student got a PhD, that was the greatest happiness for me. Okay. Okay. Next step, next step. You can go. You can go. Yeah. You the mic, you the mic can go. Uh, what's your, what's your name? Which class you are studying? Fifth. Fifth. What is your dream? My dream is to become an IAS officer. IAS officer. Okay. Tell me, tell me, you are a smart fellow. You are a smart boy, smart boy. As an IAS, when you become an IAS fellow, what will you do to the country? You say, you say what I'm saying, okay? As an IAS officer, repeat with me, as an? As an IAS officer. I will? I will. Remove the corruption. Remove the corruption. Okay, now, what's your question? My question is that, eh? Sir, can you say a few words to the new generation who are ignorant of the human values like love, compassion and gratitude? Can you say a few words on love, compassion and gratitude, okay? Now, love, love emanates from parents, you know, that cannot be valued, no value. It may be million, millions of rupees also you cannot buy. It comes from parent, father, mother, okay? That's why today you took a oath. What is the oath you took? I will make my mother. Happy you are taken. So that's why you are gratitude because of the love. Compassion. Compassion we have to have. Today I saw when I was traveling, when I was traveling, a yeah, father, mother, two physically challenged children, they cannot talk to each other. But when they entered, when they entered the aircraft, the whole aircraft passenger Everyone was showing the love and affection, compassion to the two children who are physically challenged. That's compassion. Gratitude. Gratitude is the greatest quality every one of us having. For example, 
You look at the sun. You look at the sun. Look at the earth. Billions and billions of years. Sun gives radiation, light and warmth to the earth. We live at no time. At no time, sun has asked earth to thank. At no time, sun has sun the solar system has asked the earth to thank because I am giving you light and warmth. That is earth who should have gratitude. Earth should have gratitude for five billion years. We got the light. We got the warmth of the sun. You follow. Good question. You follow. You are a young follow. You ask a fantastic question. You are a good follow. Next. Good evening, sir. Which class you are studying? I am studying in 10th standard. And my name is Vanessa. I am representing Mount Bethany Public School, Kumbara, Patanamthitta. Fantastic. Next year, what subject you are taking? Biomax. Biology. What the idea? Uh, my, in my mind, I have the idea to become an engineer. So I am trying for that. Side by side, I also look for uh, become a doctor also. So both I am but more pro, uh, it's going for the engineer itself. Okay, now I want to share you an experience. Okay, when I was traveling today from from Delhi to Tiruvannapuram, four hours forty five minutes in the aircraft inside. Okay, I saw the many stories being cooked there. Okay, many stories emanating. One guy was sitting by my side. He is a Bombay businessman, software man. He told me, Kalam. He asked, "Where are you going?" I told, "I'm going to address the children today. Yes, you have children. Thousands I'm going to address." He asked me to convey to the children. The message he conveyed: Always you ask, "What is your passion?" Passion. That passion should lead you what you want to specialize. Every father, mother. May like to be a doctor, engineer, and manager like that. But what is important? Children dream what they want to be. We have to respect the children's children's dream. That is passion. Okay. What's your passion, sir? You have always emphasized on the important role youngsters have to do in the nation development. Could you please suggest some projects? In which students like us can contribute to the society. How? Students like us. How can we contribute to the society? Some projects for that. Ah, uh, how the students can contribute for the national development, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, national. Well, I personally believe all you students want advice for all of you. Advice to you when you are a student. Your job, your mission is excel in the education. Okay. Don't get to do any other area till because when you reach 10 plus 2, everybody is asking 90 per 90 percent plus, okay, to become a doctor, become an engineer, to be a manager, any field you need. That means you have to excel in the education. You have to. If you got time, if you got time, Saturday, Sunday, holidays, you go, you go at the hospital, okay. Crowded the hospital, the children, some other children are hospital. You go there evening time, in the evening time, visitors time. Lot of visitor, lot of visitors will be parents and the friends will go there. But there are some beds nobody visit them. They are orphan, orphan people. So you take flowers and fruits to them, make them happy. Okay. So then you plant trees, five trees you plant. Then to educate the people, which we are affordable, you can educate for a higher education. Okay, these are all side work. The education is the most important thing. Okay, next, next. Thank you, sir. Over. Questions over now. Okay. Question may be found from the last benches of the classroom. Sir, could you please tell us what made you to believe in the last bench students? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> repeat, repeat your question. The best brains of the nation may be found from the last benches of the classroom. Could you please tell us what made you to believe in the last bench? Today? Because I was the last bench. Even I do. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I was the last bench. Most of the time, the first bench. But I felt the last bench. Everybody has got some knowledge. 
every human being has got some knowledge. A great teacher, a good teacher, his way of teaching, his way of interacting with the student, he doesn't care whether you are the first row or the last row. For him, everybody is a student. For her, everybody is a student. Okay. Thank you. So, friends, with this, with this, I will say, all of you repeat with me that uh, uh, where, where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. Who will give this righteous the heart? Before 17 years, afterwards very difficult. When you reach 17, another plus sir. On 27 July 2015, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam travelled to Shillong to deliver a speech on creating a livable planet Earth at the Indian Institute of Management of Shillong. While he was delivering his speech, he suddenly collapsed at 6.30 p.m. He was rushed to the Bethany Hospital nearby. But because of a cardiac attack, we lost our precious gem, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. Dr. Kalam was not only the missile man of India but also a great teacher. Therefore, on his birth anniversary, 15th October is observed as World Students Day every year. One of his most inspiring quote is, If you fail, never give up because fail means first attempt in learning. So, I wish you a very ha happy World Students Day. Thank you. Hats off to Dr. Kalam. He was a great scientist and a pioneer engineer who served his entire life for the students and for his nation. The man had a vision to make India a great country. Dr. Kalam received various prestigious awards, including India's highest civilian award, Bharat Ratna. We all are proud of him, his achievements and his humble persona. He showed us that money can't be a barrier to the dreams. I would like to end this program with a small quote given by him. If you fail, never give up because fail means first attempt in learning. Thank you.